You know, what I especially love about Brazil is the fact that there's so many personalities. I'm here in Metropolis, and what I love about this is the fact that it's in the state of Rio. When we think of Rio, we think of Ipanema and Copacabana, but the state of Rio is huge and has so many personalities. I'm here at Alcabrazo, and this is probably the best bed and breakfast, or prasada as they call it, that you can ever stay at because you feel like you're at grandma's house. I love it here. Welcome to Globetrotter. I'm John Haggins. Petropolis is a very special place. It's located in the mountains, and during the summer, the Cariocas come in from Rio because it's much cooler there. I'm Laura Góes from Pousada da Alcobaça, Correias, Petrópolis, Brazil. The old house was built by my husband's grandfather, 1914, and now we made a pousada out of it. I'm here at the Posada Alcabrasa, and it is just a paradise. It's where you can hear the whispers of life, you can hear the birds and the bees, so they say, and also the flowers, the colors. Everything here is very special. And this Posada has two incredible people. They make you feel like family and home. Petropolis is very green, and the florals are everywhere. The garden was not the way it is now. I made the garden the way it is. When the house was built, no one wanted Brazilian flowers and plants here. The, the posada had, the garden had pine trees all over. And I didn't want the way it was. I made, I put Brazilian. Brazilian plants and flowers. I made those red musaindas all over. The purple ones you see are called quaresmas. Quaresma means lint. The yellow ones, I think they go well with the purple ones. They are alamandas. Riverside is a natural habitat of many of my flowers and ferns and butterflies, squirrels and not chipmunks, we don't have them here, but many of those small monkeys called micos. We have a swimming pool and a sauna, a tennis court, and we have lots of place to walk around without going to the street. You know what I love about Rio? It's a huge state, and Petropolis is a very special place. It's where you can come and hear the whispers of life. I'm here at this incredible facade, which is called Akibrasa, and here you can hear the whispers of life. You've got trees, you've got birds, and there are all kinds of amenities, such as the pool, the spa, and the people. I would say the people make a difference whenever you travel. This is Keller's Avenue. It's considered one of the most beautiful streets in Brazil. It's full when, when of do they mansions. Start to build in here? Since after the beginning of the, the city in 1843, after, years after that, they started to build the, the houses. The one we, uh, we see right in front of us is the Solar do Imperio, which is, a hotel, the, which is a hotel. It was built in 1875. And how about you one down on the other side? I mean, you have someone... Over there we have the, the summer flag. palace of the presidency oh. of Brazil. We have schools, we have banks. We have English courses also. We have Princess Isabel's house over there near the cathedral. And uh, here we have a house of a prince. Uh, they say it's an island prince, but we don't believe it. My name is Gaston Hayes. I'm the director of tourism, of, uh, tourism and cultural foundation uh, at Petropolis. This is the imperial city. Petropolis is a very special city. It has a number of attractions that must be visited. Uh, we have here the Imperial Museum, that is uh, the most visited museum in the whole country. Uh, we do have Santos Dumont House, the Encantada. Uh, for us Brazilians, he was the real inventor of uh, the airplane, not the Wright brothers as in the United States, but I, I would say that we can 
live with that in a very civilized way. And uh, we do have also uh, the house of the Barão de Mauá. He was a very famous Brazilian entrepreneur of the 19th century. Uh, just to give you an idea of how rich this man was, uh, by that time, the 19th century, the, mo the richest American had a fortune uh, of around $100 million, and the Barão de Mauá had something around $60 million. Uh, he was an amazing man. My name is Mauricio Ferreira. Welcome to Petropolis. I'm a director of Imperial Museum. And uh, originally, the house was built as a summer house of the last Brazilian emperor, Dom Pedro II, or Peter II. He spoke 10, ten different languages. And he was a very curious man. And he studied uh, the stars and the and different civilizations. All the plants you see here in the park of the museum, they were brought by him from the different countries that he had the chance of visiting. When they were making some repairs uh, on the ceiling, they discovered a lot of wood carved with the name of the workers that realized it, the German workers that made the, the restoration of the the construction and even the ones who built it from the origin. And they used to spend here six months every year. Uh, only two times Dom Pedro uh, didn't come to Petropolis for the summer. In these two uh, occasions he was in Europe visiting the noble families and in, uh, in a tour of uh, education and cultural. The building is a neoclassic style because the influence of the French was still very strong here. Peter II had a dream uh, to create a city devoted to study, devoted to development of the, the mankind. So uh, for this city, uh, he called for very colonized people from the Europe, like German people, Italian people, uh, to produce a new way. The interior of the Imperial Museum is so opulent and regal. I love discovering these beautifully decorated rooms of Pedro II. It's his summer home. And you have instruments here that are very rare, like a violin that belonged to Dom Pedro I, a pianoforte, um, a salterio, and here is an espinet, espineta, I don't know, in English maybe it's espinet. It's the only one in the world, it's from the 18th century. It was made in Portugal and this is still working. They use it in a lot of recitals and uh, a lot of people come here just to listen to the sound. Each room is so tastefully decorated and the paintings reflect the history of Petropolis. Pedro II stored his gold in this chest. Normally, when you have people coming either from Europe or from Australia that was paintings, they come to see Rio, they went to a boat from Niterói, facing Rio City, mm -hmm. and was painting all the mountains from there. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes you can see the mountains in Petropolis and Teresopolis, even being in the Guanabara Bay. You can still rec yeah, recognize, you can recognize the forms, the forms and the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like this one for you. Yes, this is a very nice view from the Guanabara Bay with the, all the ships at that time with the fortress in the, the bottom that I, I don't recognize it, but I, I think it's, it's still there. Then appears in the other side. And they are much later than that. And they put the statue there. Here, Morro da Viúva is in Rio. It's an area in Rio de Janeiro. 